What is going on, Jet fans? Matt O'Leary back with another video to preview the New York Jets going up against the New England Patriots on the road in week number eight. It's the two and five Jets against the one and six Pats. Ew, gross. Two really bad football teams right now. Jets are 21st in offensive and defensive DVOA. Pats are 30th in both of those categories. Despite the Jets losing four straight games, if you look over at the odds, the Jets are seven-point road favorites over on BetUS. Sign up using promo code YouTube150 and get a 150% match deposit bonus on your first deposit over on BetUS. If you want to ride with the Jets, ride with them. If you want to fade the Jets, do that. If you want to place bets on anything else, you can do that as well. Uh, America's number one sports book. That's where I've been doing my gambling this season. Check it out, YouTube 150. Okay, huge storyline in this game. Drake May making his third career start. So far this year, he's actually played pretty well. Five touchdowns to two picks, a 95.1 rating, 64.1 completion percentage. His most recent timeout against the Jaguars, he started the game hot. But unfortunately, they didn't finish too hot. Uh, he went for 276 yards, 70.3 completion percentage, two touchdowns, no picks, and a 109.7 rating. So clearly, this is going to change some things going from Jacoby Brissett, who the Jets played the last time around, to now going to Drake May. I think May is clearly at this point better and has a higher upside than Jacoby Brissett. I don't blame them for making the, the switch when they did. Uh, although I will say something that Drake May does do is he's going to have turnover worthy plays over the last two weeks. His first two starts, he has five turnover worthy throws, only has two picks. He had three turnover worthy plays in the game against Jacksonville, Jacksonville unable to capitalize. So that would be an opportunity for the New York Jets to gain a couple extra possessions. Something else that's been strange this week, Drod Mayo called the New England Patriots soft and it's really not going over too well. Attentions are very high in New England. There were even rumors that Gerard Mayo could get canned this week, and that hasn't happened yet, clearly. Uh, and I don't think that's something that is going to happen. But you had Bill Belichick come out and kind of, you know, throw some shade Gerard Mayo's way after that. And I, I just don't think the, the team took too kindly to it. Now, they have dropped six in a row after winning in week one, and things aren't going great. But it was a little surprising to, to see that and also surprising to see just how poor of a season it's gone for the New England Patriots. I wish I could sit here and enjoy the Patriots suffering right now, but that feels so tone deaf when you're sitting at two and five and have you go into the year with high expectations and have underachieved versus the Pats who didn't have any expectations at all. Yeah, they're a mess, but you're also a mess like don't throw stones in glass houses isn't that the line that's how i feel about this pat's best weapon so far has been hunter henry he's a solid tight end and i think is going to be drake may's favorite target the 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 excuse me the new england patriots don't have the deepest wide receiver room and ramon j stevenson's been struggling on the round on the ground game a little bit so hunter henry i think is the guy that uh is going to get targeted the most here this week uh, looking at the Jets secondary, good news, they are getting some guys back. DJ Reed and likely Michael Carter as well will return. Those are two guys who missed some time. DJ Reed has played like one of the best corners in the NFL this year. Michael Carter in the slot is getting is going to be nice to get back. Jets banged up at safety. Should expect to see some Jalen Mills again. I thought he played well on the road in Pittsburgh. And Tony Adams might not end up playing this week. So uh, Isaiah Oliver may be, may be moving back to safety for this game. Hassan Reddick is expected to make his debut. He will speak to the media later today, so we'll react to that when we get the news on that front. But I, I do think he is going to play. If you ask me my prediction or ask me my guess, I do think he plays. And I think he has uh, close to immediate impact. I'm not saying he's going to be like, oh, a five pressure and two and a half sack performance. No, but can he play, I don't know, 35% of snaps in his first game back? and give you some pressures and maybe even get a sack in this game against an offensive line that's really struggled and against a young quarterback who may be holding on to the ball a little bit long. 
Yeah, I think that's absolutely something that's on the table. All right, stat prediction time. I'll go Drake May, 20 of 33, 60.6 completion percentage, 215 yards, one touchdown, one pick, 77.2 rating. I think Drake May uh, has looked decent through his first few starts here. That's really going to be the promising thing for New England fans. If you're a Patriots fan, you're really just going to be keeping a close eye on the young quarterback and see how he progresses. As for Aaron Rodgers, 21 of 34, 61.2%, 230. 31, one touchdown, no picks, and a 91.7 rating. Uh, the interception numbers have looked high. Not all the interceptions are his fault, but the, still the number at seven is too high. He's got to have a clean week. He's got to have a bounce back performance. Um, it's not, those numbers are not going to pop off the page, but the Jets are seven point favorites, and I don't know that they're going to dominate this game like Vegas is expecting. And last but not least, I am predicting Hassan Reddick gets a sack in his return. And if it's going to feel a little too little too late for me, I'm going to be I'm going to be shaking my head going, this is this is great. You're getting this in week eight, seven games the Jets have played already. And Hassan Reddick will play in 10 and rack up six or seven sacks and get a contract to play elsewhere is going to be my prediction on how this thing goes. As I mentioned, we can get into the score predictions now. Uh, the Patriots are seven-point underdogs at home, meaning the Jets are seven-point road favorites. I don't think they deserve to be road favorites over anyone. I understand that the New England Patriots have been really, really bad, but a touchdown favorite on the road, I'm taking the, pl the Pats plus seven here. I'm also taking the Pats to win the game, 17-16. I would love to pick the Jets right now, and I hope to God the Jets win this football game on Sunday. And I know in the comments it might be, oh, you, you quit on the season, and you know you're you're a hater for picking the Patriots. Well, I picked the Jets through the last few weeks, and they have been a major, major disappointment each of the last four weeks. So this is where I'm at right now. Prove it to me. I am in the prove it to me. Should the Jets win this game on Sunday? Yeah, they freaking should. But this team has done a lot of things that they should not have done this year and things that have been unexpected and negative unexpected. Not a positive unexpected, a negative unexpected. So I'm taking the Patriots as a motivator. This is my prove me wrong statement to the New York Jets. So I hope I come on next week and say, yeah, what a, what a fool I was. I took the Patriots plus seven and I said they would win outright and the Jets went on to win 34-10. That's what I hope happens. That would be fantastic. I'd be, I'd be very happy. I wouldn't be saying, oh, my God, the Jets are all the way back after that one game. That is completely unfair. And they have a very tough test on a short week next week. But figure it out. Got to figure it out. Got to have this game. Prove me wrong. Let me know your comments down below. I am Matt O'Leary. Thank you to BetUS for sponsoring. And I'll catch you next time.